Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth Marshall Art Fitness and you know even though it's raining out even though it's raining out there's always the sun when it's raining out there's always the sun because you gotta look at brighter things in life because you know He's got to. You gotta stay positive. You gotta stay motivated. You know, you gotta be able to do what you wanna do in life. Because the thing of it is, when, when you wanna do something in life, you know, you just gotta go for it. You just can't just talk about it, you know. And a lot of people, they tendency to do the talking, but they don't do the walking. And when they do the walking, man, if they do the talking, but they don't do the walking, that means you, they're just all talk. You know, Motivate yourself to do something. Don't just talk yourself out. Of it. And a lot of people just tend to see to do do it all at times. And I I know I'm one of them. And but I realize I don't talk. I mean I don't tell people what I'm gonna do because when if I say I'm gonna do it, then I won't do it. Usually, if, usually if I'm gonna say I'm gonna do it. No, no, I won't do it, but, um, because a lot of people, they'll say, oh, if I tell people what I'm going to do, then they're going to, they're going to say, oh, he, he, he's not doing it, he's not going to do it, he's just all talk, and, well, me, it's like, me, it's like, um, Who cares about what other people think? That's all I'm saying. Who cares about what other people think? That's got to be your biggest number one motivation. You know, if you're always worried about somebody else and, you know, what they think about you or, you know, if they're going to talk shit up on you or they're going to talk crap on you or whatever, you know, you got to motivate yourself. Cause no one else is going, never going to be there for for you to motivate, and you know, yeah, maybe your family if you have family, but you know, or if you don't, then you gotta believe in yourself a hundred percent. Cause you know, if you don't believe in yourself, you ain't gonna be able to um, push through anything in life. You're always gonna be that average show, and. Um, and that's the thing. You don't want to be the average Joe. You don't want to be the um, underdog. Nah. Yeah, the underdog. You want to be the number one dog. You know, you want to be um, the top dog. And, um, and it's like you want to be number one. And when you end up... When you end up basically saying saying stuff like that, you know, you want to be the top dog. Well, me, on the other hand, is that a lot of people will say, hey, I want to be the top dog. Well, let me ask you this. Do you have the heart to put to be the, the top dog? And that's another thing you gotta ask yourself. You know, when you feel like you need want to be the top dog of things, and be the number one person, you know, for people to count on. You know, you gotta realize that. You know, do I have the heart just to do what I want to do? You know, or do I have the body to do what I want to do? And and you know, you gotta you know you gotta ask yourself this these types of questions and. You know, also it's all in the mind, you know, too, you know, when you, when you basically feel like, you know, you're always going to be the underdog and, and they're going to be on top, you know, don't worry about what other people are doing, you know, work on being that top dog silent, you know, worry about you, don't worry about what other people think. 
you know, if you want something in life, go for it. You know, go for it to be number one. Do whatever it takes to be number one. And uh, things will start happening and things will slow down. And, you know, and then once things start slowing down and not really having a care in the world about what people think, people will start respecting you and for who you are and what you're about and and most of all you would respect yourself because you you know if you don't care about what other people think if you don't care what about other people think then you're doing good i mean it, it takes a lot of guts for somebody not to care about what people think you know it takes a lot of willpower and brain manipulation to be able to care, not care what people think of, and that's the thing, you know, you know, if somebody calls you a bad name, you know, and you take it offensive, and, you know, like, you get built, built up, built anger so bad, and it's just like, okay, and you hold a grudge on it, well, that's only going to make you look out to be the better person. Not, not them, you know. Yeah, they did bad for calling you that, but they're gonna make a word, they're gonna be the better person when you do something about it. And me, it's like when I'm in certain situations like that, I just learn to see the one, just walk away, don't say anything, and just kind of just keep my eyes shut. Or, you know, if I get to the point, too much to the point, you know. Sometimes if I get back to the corner too much, then I'll start fighting back. I said, but 9 out of 10, it takes a lot to get me to the corner and to be able to fight back. And I mean, a lot of my friends want to see me fight back, but I tell them, you don't want to see that side of me. And that's what I would tell them. And I basically just told him, I said, you don't want to see a jerk side of me, and I said, I hate being that side, you know, I like to be the fun, caring, joking person, and, and, um, I like to be sensitive, you know, and stuff like that, you know, too, I mean, you know, it doesn't mean you're weak because you're sensitive, it just means you're a human being like everybody else, and a lot of people say, you know, being sensitive means you're weak. Well, no, it's not being weak. It means you have feelings. Everybody has feelings. And it's just how you deal with your feelings. And, you know, being the top dog, you know, you gotta have strong feelings. You know, you gotta have sensitivity and emotions and stuff like that. You know, you know, caring for other people and stuff like that. And But most of all, you gotta care about yourself. Then others because usually you know you can always do for somebody else you know but if they don't want to do do it for them selves then you're just wasting your time so when 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 you're doing it by yourself doing things by yourself you're putting the time and effort to better yourself to better grow yourself to better heal yourself better prepare yourself mentally physically whatever it may be and that's the thing and a lot of people tend to see to you know go out and start shit and you know that's really being the underdog to me you know you know underdogs go out and start trouble you know underdogs go out and do wrong things and top dog stays the clear mind top dog stays the um on top top dog stays you know to be in the higher power of what he can do or she can do and but most of all to be the top dog is gonna take a a lot, a lot of guts grinding day after day and day in, day, day, night and everything. You know, you just got to motivate yourself, you know, 
to be that top dog and um, to be number one and that's how I do it in my training you know even though I'm not a fighter I mean I'm not a professional fighter but I might train like one but a lot of people ask me well how can you train all the time it's like all you're doing is tearing your body up and I said well no matter what you're doing in life you're always going to tell your tear your body up you know it's part of getting old you know older you know everybody's not kids anymore you know when they when a kid reaches an early age of 15 he's on his, they're on their way to adult and that's how I see it because you're trying you're teaching them how to be the top dog in life to make better decisions in life than not to make any decisions at all and um, that's for parenting advice you know you're teaching your kids on your own actions on how you do things and a lot of kids will ask their parents you know mom dad why did you do this you know or why did you didn't do this you know when they offered it and usually sometimes they'll say that's not that's not the right way to go you know even if somebody offers you a handout or something in life, you know, that's not the right way to go. And, because um, then you feel like you owe it. And a lot of people don't like that. And feel like, and so, all that you need to do is better yourself every day. And um, better yourself to humble yourself to be who you are and what you're about. And who cares, like I said, who cares what people think? You gotta be the top dog. You got to be the number one. And when you're the number one person in your ring, you'll be the one standing up with your arms around, hanging high, celebrating victory. So, there you have it. Seth, Martial Art Fitness, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.